What once was a 20-foot deep waterway has become polluted, silted in, and nearly impassable. The once thriving river community of Palo Verde attracted recreationists and outdoor enthusiasts from all over the western United States. This former splendid waterway is today accessible only to the most minimal craft. The presence of discarded items and storm debris is the direct result of years of neglect and lack of maintenance. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has identified three bacterial pathogens which are recognized public health hazards. Bacteria levels are up to 10 times state and federal limits. Imperial County health officials have posted notices warning the public to avoid contact with these waters. At the bottom of the screen is the Simpson Cut. Constructed in 1962, this non-permitted bypass redirected water away from the Palo Verde Lagoon. The combination of a decrease in water flow, a drop in water level, and the silting in of the lagoon has affected access to the water and has resulted in the near abandonment of waterfront properties. Mud bars, like you see here, are caused by the accumulated silt and now span the entire width of the lagoon. In 1988, the depth at this point was measured at 11 feet. Now there is barely enough water to float a canoe, hardly a good navigable waterway as originally intended. South of Palo Verde, the man-made waterway is virtually impassable. Originally designed to be accessible to everyone, travel is now possible only by experienced boaters with specialized watercraft. Invasive vegetation has reduced the width of the channel by over 50% for almost its entire length. Forty years of accumulated silt has allowed reeds to take over this waterway, destroying wildlife habitat and water quality. The waterway is littered with significant hazards including boulders, concrete, and sediment deposited by flash floods. Appropriate maintenance has not been performed to address these issues for decades. This view shows us the confluence of the Palo Verde Lagoon waterway and the original Colorado River channel at Pretty Water.
The Bureau of Reclamation's design intended water from the lagoon to be diluted by fresh water from the Colorado River. Forty years later, this no longer occurs. Pretty water is completely silted in, taken over by invasive reeds, and has no flow. The massive blockage at Pretty Water means that the original river channel has become merely an extension of the Palo Verde Lagoon, thereby eliminating access and posing a public health risk to any and all users to the south.